Hey students, so you should have watched the two Faith Ringgold videos above um, this one you know, during this asynchronous lesson. So if you have not watched those videos, um, her reading the story Tar Beach and her talking about how she made that quilt, um, then you need to pause this video and go watch those right now. So that's the important thing. So uh, what we're going to do for this lesson is we're going to create our own Faith Ringgold style uh, celestial scene. Okay, so uh, we're going to kind of imagine that we're flying above uh, a, a scene of your choosing. Okay, so you can uh, kind of get your imagination going about what exactly you want to do. Um, for today, though, we're not going to even worry about the scene. We're going to talk about that more next week. Uh, this week, what you're going to do is you're just going to get your paper ready to go. Okay, so we want to make it look like a Faith Ringgold story quilt. Okay, and so if you noticed on those Faith Ringgold uh, story quilts, they had all these different kind of squares with patterns in them. Okay, so they're cut out squares of fabric. Okay, well. We don't really have the ability to have a big sewing machine and make that. Uh, maybe you do it at your house and uh, you could uh, work with somebody in your house who knows how to make quilts uh, if you ever want to experiment with that, okay? But we're going to kind of draw our own style, okay? Um, and I'm going to have to pause this video for a second because I'm noticing that my camera is disconnecting uh, for my drawing. So give me a second here. Okay, we should be good to go. So let me make this bigger. Um, what we want to do is create a border. So we're going to have a, a an interior um, rectangle that we're going to do everything in. And uh, what I want to do is just draw a straight line across my page at the top, okay? Um, and this is going to be about a little thicker than um, the thickness of this ruler. Um, if you don't have a ruler, anything that you can make a straight line with will, will work. The edge of a box, um, the... Uh, edge of a folder or something like that. Uh, so go ahead and make a straight line across like that. And you're gonna do that on all four sides. Okay, then you want, you notice we got these squares for the corner, okay? Now you could use your ruler or you can just sort of freehand in squares like this, okay? Um, and if they end up being a rectangle here, you can either split that in half or leave it a rectangle, okay? And you're gonna do this all the way around your paper, okay? Now, I, as I'm talking, I'm gonna kind of finish this up. Inside each of these, you're going to do your own style quilt pattern. Now you've got a couple options, okay? So you could just use lines. Or you could create shapes like that. Uh, and going all the way around, you need to fill these all up with different patterns, okay? And if you need to repeat a pattern or two, uh, that is fine. You'll notice in Faith Ringgold's picture, she uh, would cut out certain fabrics and use that fabric more than once. So if I've got a wavy line pattern, maybe that shows up more than once, okay? Um, if you've got random uh, things laying around your house. Um, so for example, for fourth grade, I chopped up um, an art project. Maybe instead of drawing in a quilt pattern, I'll just glue some other stuff down. Maybe you wanna cut out pictures out of a magazine and glue those down. Maybe you've got stampers in your house and you can put little stamps on one of your squares. Um, maybe you wanna paint in certain ones. Um, maybe you uh, could have um, people in your house, uh, your family members could fill out uh, and design their own little, so maybe you know this one is dad's square and this one's mom's square and this one's uncle's square and this one's baby brother's square. Um, or whatever, okay? So what I want is you to kind of have all of these squares kind of done by next week. That's what we're looking to do. Uh, that way we can work on the rest of this uh, in class, okay? So that should give you uh, enough stuff to do during art class. And you might wanna think about it a little bit for homework even, uh, how you can make this even more unique and, and yours, all right? Um, so everybody have uh, a wonderful uh, rest of your day. 
and I will see you all uh, next week live. I'm excited to see what you do with your borders. Bye.